Hi and welcome to the second episode. Hopefully this time the sound works better than before. And for today's project I will make a small hanger for my headphones for this table. It's not directly on the camera but here you can see it. So at first we need to measure how big the table is. It's 18.2 nine, so we make 18.5 for the table and shortly for the design we will have something like this here a little bit angled to push against the bottom of the table clearly here aside to have the small hook for the headphones and a small clip for the cable so this is 18.5 for the table, so we have this 18.5. Then the headphones, I've measured it earlier because I want to print one for my girlfriend's headset and one for mine. Is uh, right around about 4 cm. And this thing is extra part, so we have four centimeter for that part. <coughs> and for this side, I think it's okay to have like um, <coughs> two or three centimeter for the part that goes in. So let's say three centimeter, and this can be a little bit shorter. But yeah, we make it also. For three centimeter. Okay, let's go to the Tinkercad program. So we now at the CAD program and start right away. So um, I use three millimeters because with my um, current setup of my 3D printer, this will get four lines without any infill, so it's uh, a little bit springy, so it doesn't break and it isn't too hard. So we use this one for the down side of the holder. And we make this one with infill to get a little bit harder. So we set, um, okay, three something, uh, let's make this 3.5. So. I think this is okay. Eighteen point five between like, the gap between these points. So we will use. Uh, um, let's make it push this way. Put it really there. Then you can see directly how far it is. So if we make it. Let's say 19. And push it a little bit wider. So like this. And then we increase the angle between it. So now you can see that at this point it's 17.48. That will really push against the table to hold it in place. So that should be fine. And now we can just this part a little bit to the side. It, it has no problems with the slicing process. Uh, this corner, it's only. Uh, I don't care about it. <laughs> okay. We make it three millimeters, but you can have the little spring stuff for my current printing setup. And I want to have this a little angled against this. So 
it, it doesn't need to win a beauty contest, so it just needs to work. So I don't care about all the really fine detailed design stuff. I only care about things that maybe can get a problem at the slicing process, like this small gap. So let's make it so. And the headphones are around about four centimeters. So let's uh, I don't know if this thing can hold it. So I will replace it to something more stable. And there's a small gap between this. And from the desktop recording software, I cannot change the grid size currently, but yeah, I will keep it like that. So now we need to have the end part and just make small part like this. Six millimeters is fine. And a small clip for the cable. Let's make it out. So cut this into pieces. So And don't wonder why I'm always using boxes, but it's the best to make something, yeah, it's easy to use, so it should be okay. So it again. And push it there. I think the cable should be fit right into this. But there is a problem. If I don't want to print with support, I can just put it down onto the button. So yeah, I think that's okay. Now, grouping everything together. Yeah. I think that should really work for my needs. So, there's a small problem that, yeah, it can screw up the slicer, but slicer can handle many other problems, so I think that shouldn't be really a big issue for the slicing process. Even the part at the side here, I think the slicer will just make, uh, like it will just fill up this small part, so that's okay. Change sync properties, so it's phone folder. And I will set it first to private until I release the video. And now just print 3 If you don't have a 3D printer, you can also use um, one of these uh, companies that will print anything for you, what you have designed. 
they have a lot of different 3D printers you can even get it in metal if you want so if you don't have a printer try this <laughs> or uh, ask someone else with a 3D printer so I will download my STL file and let's get ready to print Okay, the print is now ready to sit on the table, like that, and I can ho uh, hang my headphones in it and I can really throw it in or on the floor and clip the cable in so that the cable doesn't uh, hang on the, um, on the chair when I'm sliding back and yeah. I think that's great. Leave a comment if you want and have a nice day. Bye.